y'all just ever have a number that is calling you you don't recognize it so you don't answer it and that's what i did this morning there was a number calling me two times this morning location was like really odd i had an interview two days ago and they told me that they would send me a response on wednesday <laughs> and i woke up thinking today was tuesday so I was like, I don't know who this number is. The place that I went to interview for two days ago and I did get the job. So I'm super happy about that. Today is starting off on a good note. So I have to be in tomorrow at 6 3 a.m. for my first day of work and it's not too crazy I feel like once I just get into the routine I'm gonna be fine if I have my routine the mornings are really not that bad for me I just tell myself three two one let's go and if I don't get out immediately I'm gonna be hitting this news button a million times the company did ask me for references and they also want me to start tomorrow and they want my references tomorrow I don't think I'm gonna be able to get them in by tomorrow but I'm gonna try my best so I'm gonna email two people right now and hopefully I will give them the deadline of saying that it's due tomorrow but honestly like that's just that's really soon i usually like to give people like a little bit of ahead of time if i'm asking for a reference <sighs> i'm just gonna have to tell them tomorrow that i did my best i tried my best and that is one thing that's really important make sure you guys always have someone for a backup to ask for a reference letter for a job or anything like that as simple as it is i feel like a lot of people don't know how to write an email and that is completely okay there is space to learn about it i've even had professors write the most craziest non-professional emails it honestly took me a little bit to get it down um, just sit down for a little bit take your time to learn out how to do it and you'll get it down the contact information is below thank you friends letter always introduce yourself even if you know the person you know ask them how they're doing a little bit and then get down to the details make sure you put your contact information on where to send it sign below and send just sent over my second email two reference letters is enough if they ask me for a third one usually most companies want you to have like two references so we got that done This is my current physique and some of you guys remember I have started a bulk and my goal was to hit 145 and right now I'm at 137 so we are very very close although I said my goal was 145 I'm definitely thinking of going to 150 actually and then doing a mini cut and then probably still continue with the bulk as well for someone who has had such a hard time gaining weight I am so proud of myself and although gaining the weight has been super uncomfortable, I really love the way my body looks. It just looks more full. My hips look more full. My upper body looks more full. My glutes have gotten bigger. I just love it. It looks amazing. favorite go-to for now so this top is from sheen under armor white sports bra bubblegum pink leggings from athlete my pre-workout matches my outfit and that makes me just so happy so freaking happy today is wednesday i would be hitting an upper body workout because i missed yesterday i love my leg days a little too much so we're just gonna hit a glute and hamstring session today and then do my back and biceps tomorrow I feel like a mad scientist every single time I start putting my pre-workout together. Where's my lid? I do gotta hurry up a little bit. I have a dentist appointment at 3.30 and it's currently... Woo! I think almost all busted on me. 1 p.m. right now, so... Mm. Okay, so I have figured out where my positioning of the chair should be for my hip thrust. So I feel a lot better, but... Um, okay. Getting in to the hip thrust on the Smith machine is still awkward for me. I always like to start off with a warm-up set with no weights. I already did my first warm-up set. I'm going to do my second one, and then we're going to put on 25s, 
and then increase the weights by five for today. <sighs> I usually like to do a three, two, one tempo. So slowly go down, one, two, three, and then up, hold, and then back down, one, two, three. because I've been doing I've been working on just the 25s for like two weeks and now we can increase the weight this is our heaviest set and we're just gonna go to failure on this one <sighs> y'all my boots are on fire and now we're gonna move on to rdl's I'm not sure if i can okay i think we can do this weight i always like to do an overhand underhand grip for my rdl's y'all this workout was honestly pretty short and sweet only had like three exercises <sighs> i really just want to be focusing on my form currently before i increase weight on anything so the last exercise we're going to do is single leg rdls <sighs> <sighs> 